Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. A museum has a rare set of chameleons. There are 13 blue chameleons, 15 red, and 17 green. Whenever two chameleons of different colors meet, they both turn into the color of the remaining chameleon. If, for example, a blue and a red chameleon met, they would both turn green. If instead a red and a green chameleon met, they would both turn blue. Or, if a blue and a green chameleon met, they would both turn red. The question for you is, as the chameleons mingle, is it ever possible for all the chameleons to become a single color? If so, how is that possible? If not, why is it not possible? The museum never adds or removes chameleons from the exhibit. Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. Now, as you start solving this problem, you might enumerate the different combinations where you could get all the chameleons into one color. You might try imagining pairing up the blue and red chameleons. This would use all the blue chameleons, but you'd end up with two leftover red chameleons, even as you try to get all the chameleons to be green. If you instead tried to match up the red and green chameleons, you would still have a leftover two chameleons from the green chameleons. Also, if you try and match up the blue and green chameleons, it's also not going to work out. There would be extra green chameleons. So somehow, we can never pair up the chameleons correctly so that we can get all chameleons to be one color. But how can we prove this is possible, that we can never get the chameleons all to be the same color? Let's try and figure that out. So at the start, we have 13 blue, 15 red, and 17 green chameleons. What we'll do is we'll look at the difference between the number of red chameleons and the number of blue chameleons. This will be the idea to see how many pairs we have. Now at the start we have 15 red and 13 blue. So blue, the number of red minus blue is equal to 2. If a blue and a red chameleon met, then the number of blue chameleons would go down by 1, the number of red chameleons would go down by 1, and the number of green chameleons would go up by 2. Now 14 minus 12 is equal to 2. So you can see the number of red minus blue doesn't change if a blue and a red chameleon meet. What would instead happen if at the start a red and a green chameleon met? So the number of blue chameleons would go up, for, up by 2. It would go from 13 to 15. The number of red chameleons would go down by 1 from 15 to 14. And the number of green chameleons would also go down by 1 from 17 to 16. Now the quantity red minus blue is equal to negative 1. 14 minus 15 is negative 1. There's one more possibility to consider, and that's if a blue and a green chameleon met. In this case, from the starting number of 13, we would go down by 1. From the starting number of 15, we would go up by 2 to have 17 red chameleons. And from the starting number of 17, we'd go down by 1 to have 16 green chameleons. The number of red chameleons, which is 17, minus the number of blue chameleons, 12, is equal to 5. It at first seems like there's no pattern at all to these numbers. But let's look at this more closely. When we have negative 1, that's equal to 2 minus 3. The number 5 is equal to 2 plus 3. So we've actually gone by multiples of 3 from the starting number of 2. And in fact, 2 is equal to 2 plus 3 times 0. So from our starting difference of 2, we're always going to be changing the number red minus blue by a multiple of 3. So the number 2 will also always go to 2 plus 3 times some number k, some integer k. We've proved that the number of red minus the number of blue will always be 2 more than a multiple of 3. And this should make sense, because when a red and a blue meet, it's going to remain at 2. And in the other cases, we're going to have one going down by 1 and the other going up by 2, which is a difference of 3. So how can we do this to prove what we need? So let's imagine we want to say what would happen if all of the chameleons became one color. So let's say they all became blue. 
This would mean we have 45 blue chameleons and zero red or green chameleons. What would the quantity red minus blue be in this case? It would be zero minus 45, which is negative 45. If all the chameleons became red, we would have zero blue, 45 red, and zero green. Red minus blue is equal to 45. If all the chameleons became green, we would have zero blue or red, and we would have 45 green. Red minus blue here will be zero. In each of these cases, we have a multiple of three being red minus blue. 40, negative 45 is three times negative 15, 45 is three times 15, and zero is a multiple of three, it's three times zero. So if we could get all the chameleons to be one color, it would have to be that the quantity would become a multiple of three. But we proved that red minus blue will always be two more than a multiple of three. So it's impossible for us to get all the chameleons to be one color. Did you figure this out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.